Hi, my name is David Lewis Moroni. I'm one of the pod leaders or senior coaches here at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. And today I just want to show you a little bit about the development plan that I work on for each student here at Bishopsgate, uh, or what I would also call the phase of participation. So when I look at a student's plan, I have a look at their tournament schedule first. So depending on their tournament schedule, will determine which phase they're going to be in. So for example, here with this board, I generally do over a six week period. And then I've just got the tournaments that they're going to be playing in. And then once I know what tournaments they've got, then I'll decide what sort of training we're going to do. And then I'll come up with a plan. So if we first just have a look at this block, I'm just going to talk about one of the phases of participation here. Okay, so in this week, this is just straight after a tournament. So we can see we had a tournament. And then what we would do here is go into a phase called repair or um, a technical phase. So what you can see, obviously, on if they've played a tournament, come on a Monday, then it's all about reflection. We go over their stats, reset their goals, uh, and make sure they've got a very clear understanding of what they're trying to achieve over the next week, for example. Uh, we do a lot of measurement. So, for example, here, also got some trackman combines. So just always, every month, doing some uh, measurement of how they're doing and also helps us to, to plan their, their week ahead as well. And then if you have a look, there's, for example, say on a Monday starting at 2 o'clock, we're going to do an hour of putting correction drills. Uh, then we'll head into a short game. You can see that we've got three stations with a knockoff wedge, two out of three up and down, one wedge, uh, one wedge shot. And then also we come into a 30-minute two-time student B1 lesson. So this is more on the technical side, certainly with the putting and the full swing. The short game, that's a little bit more of just keeping their, their skills going, uh, keeping them competitive should we say so we can see the week is very much the technical thing so it's what I call sort of repair and, and repetition phase where I give them a clear they've just finished a tournament we've probably got maybe two or three weeks before the next tournament so then we can spend a little bit of time having a look at their stats making an assessment what are the weak areas and then measuring everything to just have a very clear indication okay if the putting stroke for example the face is open at impact then a couple of days later when we do putting again, we're going to make sure that we deliver a drill which is going to help them deliver the putter face to a square position at impact. Okay, so here we've got two weeks which are leading more into a tournament. So up there I just spoke about the repair phase and the repetition phase. And then we move into what I would call more of a random phase and performance phase. So if we just have a look here, we can see you know it moves away. So for example, just here with a wedge, one of the challenges here is a wedge proximity challenge, three stations plus a knock knockoff driver. So they would have to execute a task on a wedge uh, proximity challenge, and then to complete that task, they would go, have to go to a driver station, hit a tee shot between two gates. So it's just increasing the intensity level a little bit more when they're training. So it's going away from, okay, am I making the correct swing, to can I produce the result uh, when it's required. And then also, if you have a look at a putting, it says putting distance control completion task. So it has just some different putting distance control dr drills, and they have to maybe complete three or four tasks before they can leave the putting green. And then also you can see that it blends more. The green is when I do challenges out on the golf course. So we've got some work on the driving range, the short game and the putting. Then we've got a couple of days where they have what we call a play-in challenge. So before they can get to the driver range or to do some work on the range, then they've got to maybe do a play and challenge. So it says here, holes one to four, start on the, the front tees, uh, and then they must shoot, say, one under par target score. If they don't complete that one under target score, then they need to repeat the four holes again. So it just, once again, changes their thoughts from, is my swing looking correct, to I have a task, can I complete it? And then all this is designed to do is to help the player be able to produce results when it's required, which is in the tournament conditions. And certainly one thing that I like to do in training is to try to increase the intensity level, just push the student a little bit outside their comfort zone so they get more comfortable with being uncomfortable, if that makes sense. And they have the ability that when things do feel uncomfortable to bring themselves back to a, a level playing field where they're committed to the shots and they have some control over the things um, that are sort of going on in their mind. So there's some strategies that they have to bring themselves back to the present. Uh, and as I said, and then we go from a situation where it's very much just play and play and play and it's just getting them ready to play in the tournament, which is at the end of the week. 
So just as a summary, when a student comes to Bishopsgate Golf Academy, it's not a matter of the student just turning up every day and going to the driving range and hitting some balls just aimlessly without any real purpose. It's, you know, when we come, when we look at each student individually, we have a look at, as I said, at their tournament schedule. We come up with a plan. We make sure that the students are working on the correct um, swing, should we say, at each stage of their, their development uh, and come up with this great plan. So if anyone's got any questions, you can send me an email at davidlm at bgga.com uh, or you can check me out on Instagram, David Lewis Roney. Thank you.